I was recently contacted by Elegoo to do a review of their Arduino starter kit, and initially I was a little hesitant. I hadn't really done any electronics projects in a while. I didn't really have plans for any, maybe something involving a robot arm, but that's a little down the way. So I thought about it and figured, well, there's a few projects I might want to do that will involve components from the starter kit, namely a tilt and pan head that could be used for a smartphone, something involving servos. So I accepted and they sent this package to me. Now I had seen this one before, but I'm gonna open this up here. But that one had some other components in it that weren't from other kits. And I've seen Arduino starter kits before from other companies, and usually, you know, you tend to get a lot of quantity over quality, but for these, I was actually really impressed with what I saw as far as the variety. When we first started, this is a pretty nice package, a lot better than I was expecting. So we're going to open that. And normally with these kits, you tend to get the Arduino, a little breadboard, and a couple components. So we do get that. We get, there's the Arduino Uno. And there we can see a little breadboard with the Proto Shield, some LEDs, a few scan components, lots of jumper wires. But what separated this kit to me from the others, what kind of got me interested in it was everything else. It's actually really impressive what you get. So, I mean, as we said, there's Arduino itself. There's the Proto Shield with a adorable little breadboard on it for components. Package of LEDs, again, pretty standard stuff. Battery. This is a USB power converter, which can be very handy. You get a seven segment display. This is an infrared sensor. Humidity. And more components, this is a little relay. This is another little seven segment thing. This is a, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a tilt sensor. It's actually a knob off something. So we'll find out where that guy goes. Ah, here he is. So I get a nice little potentiometer, which is always handy. Now, here's where, like I said, this kit really stood out to me, kind of in terms of quality, because you get this little analog thumbstick. And this is what got me thinking about the tilt and pan head, because I want to be able to use this to control my X and Y movements. And if this little thing looks familiar, it's exactly the same type of analog stick in a PlayStation controller. So that's really fun. And I'll be 3D printing an enclosure for this as well. But in addition to that, we get a stepper motor. Very handy. A little fan with rubber blades. That's a little silly, but it can be fun. It's an ultrasonic sensor. So I may not be using all this stuff. I'll definitely be using some for the tilt and pan head. Like, for example, I can use the stepper motor for my main rotation. There's another little small DC motor. I won't be using that one, but this will be essential. This is a servo and a little set of horns. So between that and the Arduino and this, and I think I have another servo somewhere, or I can use the stepper motor, I will be making a tilt and pan head to let me control a smartphone so I can move it left, right, up and down manner of stuff like that. So that'll be really fun. This is a stepper motor driver. Um, by the way, I should mention that everything is labeled in the lid, which is very handy. You also get a little starter kit. And this is a CD-ROM with some code and libraries for Arduino. USB cable. The obligatory bag of resistors. But again, it's all very nicely packed and I'll have a little trouble getting some of this back in character display. And like I was saying about the analog stick and the servo and the stepper, it's really nice stuff. Usually these kits are very elementary. They're meant to 
just introduced to the idea, they're kind of cobbled together, but this feels really well thought out. That's the remote. And even the breadboard gets a box. Usually they don't even bother that, it's just in a little bag. So we'll open that up. And yep, that's where I can lay down all my components for committing them to the shield on here. And a little wires, some little piezo buzzers, and adorable little button switches. So I do want to thank Elagoo for sending this off to me, and uh, the next video that I produce, which should be done in about a week, will be the tilt and pan head using components from this kit.